who have sold more than, listen to this number, 8 million albums. But before all that, he was a Broadway baby, starting out when he was just 8 years old. Now at the ripe old age of 19, Nick is back on Broadway, starring in the classic musical, How to Succeed in Business Without Really Trying. And he is with us in Studio 57 this morning. Great to have you with us. Thanks for having me. I like yeah. that ripe old age. I know, ripe right yes. old age. It's, it's all downhill from it. here, Nick. Oh, boy. <laughs> but, but, Nick, before you get started, I was in the audience on Friday. Oh, very nice. Erica was in the audience on Saturday, oh, matinee, nice. so we both saw... Who was the better audience, Nick? Oh, and feel I no pressure here. I have, I have two brothers, so I'm all, <laughs> yeah, so you know how that goes. But it's you know, so I can never pick favorites. But I, I'd say that the whole weekend was, was a really you know great time, great audiences. And um, Sunday was a fun show just because the Super awesome. Bowl was on, and the New York crowd was. Um, you know, I think anxious to, to get the games, and the laughs were all great. They were a bit like, ha, 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 ha. Hurry, hurry, hurry up, let's go. We have stuff to and do. And you were probably ready, too, because you're a huge Giants fan. Oh, I, I love doing the show every night, but I, I was excited about the game. Um, I uh, had, a, had a, a get-together with my castmates and um, watched the game, and it was uh, such a great outcome. Huge, huge I know, because didn't you think at the last second, we, we, we the Giants fans, <laughs> could have lost that game at the very last second. Oh, it was, it was so heart close. stopping to watch it. It was incredibly close, and, and I was freaking out the whole last quarter, and um, you know, I was very pleased, though, with the way it all turned out. So I think for most people, they know you as a Jonas brother. But really, when you look at your life, you've really wanted to do this for a very long time, this entertain media business. You've wanted this for a very long time. I have. I, I, I did start out uh, my musical journey in musical theater. I, I did four shows here in New York uh, as a kid on Broadway. And um, I, I think that really shaped kind of who, who I am as a, a performer in general. And, and who is that? And I'd say, who is that? you know, at a young age, I learned about work ethic and how important that is to, to, you know, wanting to do what you love and realizing there are so many talented people out there who, who work so hard every day to be in a position they're in. And so uh, to have started there to have that kind of grounding, I think has really helped me when, I, when I've gone into recording and touring with my brothers. And I'm um, not coming back to it. I understand the work ethic and, and appreciate how much um, people put into this life and, 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 and this career that is uh, a really intense one, doing eight yeah. shows a week. But yeah. I'm having a fantastic time and, and loving the support of everyone coming to see the show. And I'm sure that the, the cast appreciates that attitude from you, too. Coming in and really understanding what goes with is grueling. And there are people that you're working with now in the show who have been doing this for decades, and it's not easy, but it can be very fulfilling. So I'm sure they, they appreciate that you get that. It, it's been great to speak with the cast because a lot of them have been doing this for a very, very long time. And, and specifically with this show, you know, they've already been up and running for about a year. Daniel Radcliffe was in it before me, and, and Darren Chris uh, briefly before I was in it as well. And, and so they've been up and running, and, and um, to kind of jump in and integrate myself not only into this Have Succeed family, but into the show has been uh, a really great experience. And, and they've made it um, especially uh, fulfilling, just in the sense that, you know, it, it is like kind of reopening and restarting. And, um, we've had a great time working together and trying to make it the best it can be. Well, Daniel Radcliffe was here last week. He was t he went to see you, and he was raving about your reviews. So, so far, so good for you, Nick. Can oh, I just you. say, you seem to be so mature at the age of 19. Oh. I'm not kidding. Where does this come from? Because most 19-year-old guys I know don't have it together this way. Oh, and I, I'm I, being serious. Where <laughs> does this come from, people? Don't you think you're mm -hmm. very mature at the age of 19? I, I don't know exactly where it comes from, I, and, and I think that it, it's it's just me kind of being myself, but I, I know that I have an amazing group of people around me. My parents are amazing, my family is great, and, and that's where it all comes from, I think. So I, what, what's next for Nick Jonas? I mean, this is a pretty good run you've got going here. Uh, it's, it's exciting. What's your dream? For, for six months. I'm scheduled to be in the show for six months. And, um, you know, I, I think uh, this has been a dream of mine for a long time to be uh, back on the Broadway stage, to be leading a Broadway show, but following this, um, I think my brothers and I will get back in the studio, continue to write and record. Um, it's, it's been you know about a year and a half, two years since we yeah. released music together, and it'll be great to, to do that once again for our fans. This is what I remember about you at the White House when the Obamas first got in. The, the, Malia and Sasha were nuts about the Jonas Brothers. <laughs> now, I remember the president saying, which is the one that I like, the one that they're favorite? And it was you, Nick. Do you remember that? I have that YouTube clip favorite. Yeah, so, what was that like for you? Because you were a personal request, and you came. What was that like? It's been amazing, the, the relationship with, with the Obama family and, and the president in particular. It's kind of been uh, astonishing from day one. Um, and I've had the opportunity to go to the White House a few times and sing for the president and his family. And the last time I was there was for the Motown tribute, which was an yeah. amazing event to be a part of. And I was so honored and sang the Temptations tribute with Seal and Jamie Foxx and John Legend. And um, I've got that picture up in my house as yeah. well. It's, it's, it's been amazing. And, and you know, they're, they're a great family. And I've had 
you know, I'm sure amazing time singing for them each time. And Here's, Kids Night. I was going to say, yeah, there's yeah. a great Kids Night on Broadway. Uh, we've talked to us what a little bit that? about this because people probably don't know what it is. But boy, for somebody who looks to you and says, this is what I want to do, it's incredible. Who says, I want to be you, Nick Jonas. I want to be you, you say. This is, this is a great opportunity for young people to come and, and have their first Broadway experience or if they're a fan of musical theater as it is, um, to come and experience this show and all the shows that are participating in, in this this uh, Kids Night on Broadway. It's this whole week. And basically, if you're between the ages of, I believe it's 8 and, and 18, or 6 and 18, yeah. mm -hmm. um, you get in for free with, accompanied by an adult uh, to any of the Broadway shows that are participating in. And so please come see uh, any Broadway show. I'd love for you to see how to succeed if, if you're a young person who wants yeah. to come and experience Broadway. But I'm a fan of theater myself, and I had been from a very young age. And, and I know that... Um, you know, there there were times when this would have been a dream come true to be able to go and just see a Broadway show for free. And uh, there are so many great shows out right now. And for the whole Broadway community, I think it's a great thing. It is a great thing. Great to have you with us, Nick. Thanks for coming in. Thank you so Thank much, Ryan. Do you ever do anything bad? <laughs> I just want you to be bad. You can see Nick Jonas on how, on Broadway, How to Succeed Until July. For me, just a mirror, please. Thank you. Yes. Wait a minute.